This video demonstrates the process required in repairing an aluminum coil using Channel Flux ZA1. In order to ensure a successful repair, you must first use the proper heat source. It is recommended that a low intensity gas such as propane be used. Hot gases such as oxy or acetylene and MAP should be avoided. Using a propane torch, aim the heat directly at the damaged area. After several seconds, touch the rod to the heated area. In order to achieve flux and alloy flow, the temperature of the damaged area must be at least 905 degrees Fahrenheit. Apply the necessary amount of alloy to cover the damaged area. Damage from a foreign object. It's also important that the repair area be as clean as possible. Remove any dirt or oils before you begin the repair process. Using a propane torch, aim the heat directly at the damaged area. After several seconds, touch the rod to the heated area. If the area has reached the required temperature, the alloy will flow. If not, continue heating for a few seconds more and try touching the rod to the surface of the coil again. Be sure to avoid placing the rod directly in the flame. You want to have the hot metal melt the alloy, not the torch. Once flow is achieved, remove the flame. Deposit the necessary alloy and remove the rod. The repair is then complete.